Gustavo Chacon. Uh, I'm the actual director of the IPSL programs and the universitarian uh, programs here in Colombia. We work with uh, different universities in the United States. We bring students here to Colombia with um, an amazing and interesting uh, mix of nationalities. We have people from all over the world. Uh, my uh, academical background uh, is uh, international studies. I did a master in international studies in Geneva in Switzerland and then I did a master in business administration also in Switzerland in the University of Geneva. Then I studied geophysics in Madrid and also a license in didactics in uh, the, France, the French University, uh, L'Université de Grenoble Standard 3. And uh, so now we are uh, bringing each day more uh, very happy students to Colombia to visit this beautiful country and uh, we're obviously um, very concerned about your happiness here during your stay and you will never regret coming to Colombia to visit us. Welcome to Centro Catalina. Everybody. My name is Juan Manuel Barreiro. I am from Colombia. I live in Medellin. I am 24 years old. I just turned 24 years old last March. And uh, I have started international business and managing. I speak English, but I'm currently attending to my advanced courses of English, of course. And I also speak French. I like so much languages. Hello, my name is Mauro Arias. I am from Medellin, Colombia. I, I have a bachelor degree in international business uh, and some pedagogical students. My, my experience mostly is working with young people. I teach English about four or three years and uh, I liked it very much because with we interview with people, we can learn from each other. Yes, uh, my intention today is to give you an invitation to come here in Colombia and as the son of the history, son of his culture and to know the good people that live in this place. Hello, my name is Nicole. I am the school director of Centro Catalina Spanish School. Uh, I am from Switzerland, but also from Colombia. Uh, we are wor working in Colombia. We opened our school in Cartagena since 2010. Uh, from this moment on, we are receiving a lot of uh, students uh, from many countries, from many cultures, uh, that are really happy to, uh, ex to have this experience here in Colombia, to discover this beautiful uh, country, to discover Cartagena and Medellin as well. And, um, and to learn Spanish, of course, in a very friendly atmosphere. Hello, I'm Luca, I'm from the Schweiz. I'm in the Schweiz in my second week in Centro Catalina. I like it a lot because it's a very nice school. The people are very nice. Every day there is a fiesta. Y... Es <laughs> también muy bueno para aprender español. Uh, la, las profesoras soy muy bueno. Eh, Medellín también eh, muy bonita. Muchas fiestas y sí, me gusta mucho. Hola, me llamo Dalton y soy de Estados Unidos. Y, uh, estado de Nueva York. Uh, hace seis semanas lleg llegó en Medellín y estudiar a, a Santa Catalina. Y me gusta mucho, es una familia de Medellín. Medellín es una ciudad con muy cultura y muy uh, uh, gente amables y es uh, Incredible. Welcome to Centro Catalina Medellin. Hello, I am Maria Chacon, the administrative di director of uh, Centro Catalina Medellin. Uh, I am double uh, nationality, Swiss and Colombian. Uh, we are uh, we have lived in several countries. 
and we love to share experience with uh, foreign people. Uh, this is one of the reasons uh, why Central Catalina Medellin uh, opened in the year 19, uh, 2016. Um, we have a beautiful colonial house uh, where we share uh, the residence and also the academic part of the, of the, of the experience of the, of the people. Uh, we love to receive them. Um, they are coming to a house, they are coming to a family. Um, we care very much for their for the well-being. Uh, we pay attention to, to every detail of their experience to, do, to make it unforgettable. And we love what we do, we do it with passion. We give ourselves for them, we are ready for anything they need. And we welcome you to come to Central Catalina Medellin uh, which is a beautiful city and you will love the experience. I am John Valencia, I am charge of marketing and logistics. My work is to be sure that all will be ready when you arrive to start with an unforgettable experience for your life. Olá, sou Alain de Brasil, sou do Brasil, uh, Espírito Santo, sou engenheiro, uh, vim para cá para conhecer a Colômbia, um, um país incrível e convido a todos vocês, brasileiros ou não, para conhecer também este país, principalmente as duas cidades onde tem sede a Escola Centro Catalina, que é Medellín e também Cartagena. Bueno, en Centro Catalina, como directora académica, me encargo de hacer la organización eh, académica de actividades, estructural y al mismo tiempo darle la bienvenida a los estudiantes. En el equipo hasta ahora digamos que le podemos brindar un poquito de todo porque la escuela originalmente es cartagenera, ahora mismo estamos en Medellín eh, y estamos haciendo una mezcla siempre de todo. Tenemos chicos de aquí de Medellín, tenemos gente de Cali que trabaja con nosotros, entonces tenemos un poquito de todo para ofrecer, para darle el mejor servicio al estudiante, para hacerlo sentir como en casa. Hacemos actividades todos los días, los fines de semana, siempre los integramos con familias, con nosotros, con nuestras vidas y prácticamente al final terminan siendo amigos o parte de la familia. Para terminar, puedo decir que en Centro Catalina, en Colombia, pueden encontrar, eh, digamos, la mezcla perfecta entre lo que, lo que es aprender español pero de una manera en la que puedes entrar en la cultura, sentirte parte del país. Ya de aquí no te vas como un extranjero, como un turista, como alguien que está fuera de lugar. No, te vas como un colombiano más y seguramente con toda Colombia y todo el equipo de Centro Catalina en el corazón, así como todos quedan en el corazón de todos nosotros aquí en el equipo. Hi, uh, welcome to Colombia. My name is Mark, I'm a lawyer from Ireland and I've been here studying at Centro Catalina. The school and the people here are very wonderful and friendly and I've learned a lot of Spanish since I arrived. Yo puedo espa hablar español sin problemas. Yo aprendí mucho español cuando llegué a, ca a Colombia. No hablé nada en español, pero ahora yo puedo hablar y tener conversaciones o usar español en mi trabajo sin problemas. Siempre hay profesores de niveles básico o muy avanzado para enseñar cualquier cosa que la, la gente necesita. Y estuve y estoy muy feliz acá en la escuela y en Colombia en general. Hablo español más mejor que antes. Es muy fácil ahora de, de hablar español con la gente de aquí. Eh, me gustó mucho esta ciudad y esta escuela. Es una familia, una buena familia. ¿Qué tal amigos? Estamos aquí en la Escuela Centro Catalina, la ciudad de Medellín, una ciudad muy bonita y conocida por mucha gente. Aprenderás mucho, tanto familiar y nacional, todo lo que quieras, papi. Soy encargado de las actividades de Centro Catalina, tours, fiesta. Tus vacaciones serán inolvidables en esta escuela, papi. Bienvenido aquí, ahora y siempre. Hi, my name is Mauricio and I want to invite you over to a real nature adventure. Uh, we're going to go we're going to get to know geography, history, 
everything that has to be with Colombia. Uh, different kind of food, animals, and we're gonna go to the jungle, we're gonna go everywhere. Welcome to Colombia. Hi everyone in the United States in IPSL. We are really glad to tell you that Colombia is a new destination for IPSL. I'm the actual director of the IPSL on-site programs. And um, I will tell you two or three things concerning my life. I'm both Colombian and Swiss. I studied in Switzerland. I did a master in international studies. And then I did a master in business administration. I have been living here in Colombia during 11 years. I have worked for the Swiss government in Bogota for the culture department. Um, my work is to follow students through thesis and research, and that's exactly what we will do with IPSL. Um, and uh, I obviously know that you will have a beautiful time here in Medellin, in Colombia. IPSL is offering a new destination in the world, which is Medellin, Colombia. In Colombia, we have been through a conflict during 60 years and last year we have found a solution with the enemy of the government which was the FARC and we have found a peace agreement through conflicts resolution and negotiations so we believe that it is very important for students from other countries to study how we can um, manage conflicts through negotiations so here you can read, if you want, the general objectives of the program, which is to provide theoretical and methodological tools to address conflicts and the resolution by means of negotiation, dialogue, and building of consensus. Then we have established a program concerning race and racism in Colombia. The general objective of this program is to understand the configuration of the Mestizo society in Colombia and the complexity of its inter-ethnic relations until today. Colombia is the result of a mix of white groups of Spanish origin, of indigenous peoples and of descendants of African slaves brought to the American lands due to the disappearance of the native community caused by the forced labor imposed by the Spanish settlers. We believe that this program uh, will allow you to understand how the country has faced this uh, problem and has learned from the past experiences. Then we have a program concerning the comparative politics and peace agreements between Colombia, Rwanda, South Africa and North Ireland. Our actual president, Juan Manuel Santo, has received the Nobel Prize and as Nelson Mandela in his time, uh, he went through a peaceful agreement with the enemies of the gov government, which in our case in Colombia were the FARC, Fuerzas Armadas Revolucionarias de Colombia. The general objective of this program is to develop a comparative analysis of the peace processes conducted in Colombia Northern Ireland, South Africa and Rwanda in order to define the ethnic, religious, political and economic specificities as well as their particularities. This is the appropriate context to highlight the novelty of the Colombian process in which the reparation of victims is recognized. Although this is one of the fundamental aspects of the negotiation, it is also truth that returning land to their original owners poses great challenges due to the reluctance of the holders who acquired such illegally. The other program we have um, established um, and we believe would be very interesting for uh, people who come from Europe or from the United States is to understand uh, the actuality of Colombia through the history of Colombia. So that's why we created the History of Colombia Workshop. The general objective of History of Colombia Workshop is to analyze the anthropological, political and economic context of the Colombian nation's formation from the pre-Hispanic to the present times. I will let you read the rest of the description, putting post to the video if you're interested in following this 
program. Then we will um, teach in Centro Catalina Spanish as a foreign language. Centro Catalina has received has received uh, lately the most um, prestigious accreditation uh, worldwide to teach uh, foreign languages such as YALC and we are happy to offer a very good service in both uh, international affairs and in Spanish as a foreign language and we deeply believe that uh, the future community managers uh, in social activism in the United States will need Spanish to manage many cities that's why we have um, projected here a map with the percentage of population of Hispanic uh, in the United States and uh, we have the intention to receive you with maybe basic knowledge in Spanish and we will be more than happy if you go back to the United States being bilingual, speaking Spanish in a B1, B2 level. Then uh, we have uh, created capstone projects with NGOs in Medellin, especially with, for IPSL students. We already do this with uh, Germany with Bildungsurlaub, um, so we already have uh, experience doing this. Uh, we invite you to work, for example, uh, with, for NGOs who are working for displaced people. Displaced people in Colombia is a serious and sad uh, problem due to the violence and uh, that's one of the subjects we can obviously study many other stu uh, st um, subjects here in Medellin due to the reality of the country and of the city. The professor who will be willing to be advisors for the grad students on their community projects will be Maria Liliana Gonzalez. So she's an old Colombian diplomat and she has both uh, the experience of being a diplomat and the experience of teaching international affairs in the best universities of Colombia. She is fluent in French, in English and in Spanish. She has taught in La Universidad Jorge de Lozano, International Affairs. She has taught in La Universidad Externa de Colombia and in La Universidad Colegio Mayor de Nuestra Señora del Rosario and also in La Universidad Javeriana. Uh, those are the most prestigious universities in Colombia in those fields, international affairs, international studies, political science. She has worked in the foreign um, affairs for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs during 10 years. She has been a diplomat and she has organized many visits for different presidents in the country and in other countries. She has studied in La Universidad Pedagógica Nacional, she did a um, thesis in how to teach uh, to international studies students. That's what, that was her uh, research thesis, so that's why we chose her to teach for IPSL. Then she has both the theoretical knowledge to teach and to make attractive the international studies, but she also studied in Geneva, Switzerland, international studies, in El Universidad Externado Colombia Political Science, UCA Sciences Politique Paris. Um, she, she also studied in Political Science Paris. And uh, she is also an anthropologist. Then the other professor who would be willing to be an advisor for the grad students on their culminating projects will be me. Uh, so, as I said before, I'm 38 years old. Uh, my name is Gustavo Chacon. I'm both Colombian and Swiss. I did uh, studies in didactics in France. I have studied geophysics. I did a Master of Business Administration in uh, L'Université de Genève, Geneva University in Switzerland. And I did also a Master in International Studies in uh, High International Studies, Geneva. It's the, it is the University of Geneva, Switzerland. I have been teaching during 15 years. I have co-founded with a very good friend of mine, uh, which is from Switzerland, uh, Christian Kule Obra Moises. It's, it is an NGO. We work with a very uh, young child from two to five years old. Uh, we have co-founded also with uh, my sister, my mother, my father, and my brother-in-law, Centro Catalina Cartagena in 2010, and now Centro Catalina Medellin in 2016. I have worked for the Swiss government during 11 years for the Department of Culture in Colombia also. Uh, here I send you some academical references if you want to know with who I studied. 
Uh, I have sent you the web page of Ora Moises. It is the NGO we have founded in 2009 with my friend Christian Kule. I have sent you also my contact if you want to contact me. Uh, I'm the coordinator of the proyecto. It means that I'm the, I'm the manager of the project here in Colombia. So for the students who want to um, create an NGO in the future, who want to study about uh, how we create an NGO. So I have done it and uh, I found it very interesting. Here in Colombia, as we said before, we have uh, an important and sad problem concerning displaced people. So that's why we have already contacted NGOs who work with displaced people. We have also contacted uh, NGOs who work with uh, women because women are so important to construct a nation and uh, we are already in contact with different NGOs. Here I send you the dates uh, when uh, the semester fall will take place. That will be from the 8th of September until the 8th of December. You will have a free week in which we will uh, organize an excursion to Cartagena, to the Caribbean coast, from the 21st to the 28th of October 2017. Uh, here we send you also the schedule of the program for undergrad students and um, we mentioned that you will have intensive Spanish language instruction combined with block schedule for content elective courses. So here you have the whole information, you just have to put pause if you want to read it carefully. And we have uh, separated some, some points um, for especially the COSA graduate program and curriculum. We have more or less the same structure, but the level of, um, of uh, study uh, will be obviously uh, deeper in the graduate program. So you just have to put pause if you want to read it carefully. During the weekend, we have already planned with a guide, which you will see in the video, a different excursions. You will be free to propose whatever you like to be guided by someone who knows the country and who will uh, go with you during your trips the weekends. Thank you very much for your time and now we're going to carry on with the video. <music>